Okay, imagine you've got a tumor the size of my fist and I tell you I can take it out through your eyebrow. You're probably thinking I'm crazy and how the heck does that work? I've wanted to make this video for you guys for a while to explain the concept of eyebrow surgery or a supraorbital craniotomy. So most of the time this is going to be done for a meningioma, but there are other types of tumors that we do this for as well. The type of tumor is less important than the location of the tumor. So as you can imagine, when we're coming from the eyebrow, which is right above the eye here, we need to be looking at pathology that's in this anterior portion of the skull base or the anterior cranial fossa. Now that does predominantly tend to be meningiomas, things like olfactory groove meningiomas, planum meningiomas, sphenoid wing meningiomas, clinoid meningiomas. You can also do this to clip aneurysms, take out craniopharyngiomas and other pathology that's in the supracellar region. So what happens in this surgery is the incision is actually going to be made right along the midpoint of the eyebrow here. And that's so that when it scars and heals down the line, it's actually very well hidden. If you do so after that incision is made through the eyebrow and the scalp is going to be gently retracted back, you actually place your burr hole right here. This is called the keyhole, which is just a circular shaped opening in the bone. And then we turn a craniotomy that's going to run as low as we can on the roof of the orbit, and then as high as we can given how much retraction that we have. So it usually ends up having kind of this shape here. We are limited how far medially we can go by the supraorbital nerve, which comes out of a notch right about here. So that's usually about as far medially as we'll go. But we open up that window, and then under the microscope, we're able to pick apart tumors in this region bit by bit. Now, when you're doing a small opening like that, most of the time, you're not going to do an on-block resection where you take out the whole thing in one piece. You're going to break it down into smaller pieces and deliver it one bit at a time. We use bipolar cautery to break the tumor apart, or we can actually use ultrasonic aspirators to break it down into smaller pieces. But that's basically the technique of how you take out something the size of my fist through an eyebrow without leaving a trace. 